Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we will be covering about HTTP caching uh, policy within API Manager. So let's get into the AnyPoint platform. So I am going to log into my AnyPointMailShop.com uh, account and we'll look out for API Manager. I will be configuring the uh, HTTP caching policy on the existing API and that is the credit card. I will uh, go to the latest version of credit card and we'll change this label a bit but it is already correct as certification so i will not change it but if you want to change it you can put it accordingly so let's remove the starting part okay now click on the policies click on apply new policy search for the http caching select the latest one click on configure policy now this is the http caching key on the basis of which the cache will be updated so by default it takes the request path but I am going with my credit card number that will I will send through on uh, the query param. So it will be query params dot card number. Cache entries 10,000 will be there and this entry will be uh, there for 600 seconds. So let's reduce it to um, let's keep it 600 only and i will select the persistent cache so that even the runtime uh, restart it will persist uh, and it will make a count of it these are the http caching uh, forwarders like cache controls and it will create the age and the other uh, response fields as well so i will select the specific one i will go with get and will select the credit card give resource matching so it is coming up over here so it is correctly matched i will click on apply within seconds it will be done so now let's quickly go to the uh, postman so this is uh, my uh, api or you can see the implementation url which is already there in my runtime manager i am going to hit the send button now And you can see I got some response back. I will uh, go to the runtime manager as well. Let's quickly check the status. Because uh, after applying the policy, it takes around 10 to 15 seconds of uh, sweet time to get it refreshed. So let's see. We should be good. I will click on the, uh, let's say I'm going to change the number uh, this time. Okay. I'll click on the send button. Again, send them. So here you can see the age is now updated to two. What does it age mean? Indicates the number of seconds the object has been in a proxy caching. Now, if I uh, navigate to my uh, credit card app, that is this get operation i am having this logger which is printing the request and after that there is a response so what is the expectation if something is already there in the uh, cache ideally it should not uh, process this particular path right so let's let's check that out i will go to okay this is being uh, captured as uh, one 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 now i am going to uh, it is around 11.45, last hit is being made at 11.44. I will click on the send button again. And is there any update? No. So this suggests like uh, it is being printed from the uh, cache from the HTTP caching policy and it will expire after 600 seconds which we have already configured on in our HTTP policy which we have uh, configured in API manager. So I will go to the API manager once again and uh, will reduce that uh, count to let's say 20 seconds. Okay. I will go to here and click on edit button instead of 60 let's put 20 seconds 
I will click on apply. I will go to the runtime manager to check if uh, this policy is refreshed instantly or it will take some time. I will go to the logs. It is yet to be updated. But nevertheless, I will change the number. So I will put something. Okay, I will click on the send button. So now it is showing me three, and we will check uh, here as well. Eleven forty-seven zero two. So within uh, next fifteen seconds or so, we should be good. So I will wait till eleven forty-eight. I will click on the send button once again. Let me change the number. So first time it didn't show the age because that was the first cache miss, and it is going to uh, make the Cache with this updated number. I will wait for um, some time so that next time when I hit this age will be not there. This age key will be removed. It will show like uh, the cache is being cleared out. So let's uh, click on send button now. So here you can see the age. Uh, Key value pair was uh, removed in the response. So, uh, with this particular uh, video, we showcased how to use the HTTP caching policy within our API implementation. It will it will improve the overall performance because there is no uh, meaning in like if uh, if a data set is already available due to the frequent hits rather than overwhelming our IT infrastructure of the for the same set of request data. So I hope you like this video and thanks for watching.